happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. Hey, Brian, check it out. Hot or not dot com. Ten. One. Ten. One. Five. Five. She's couples counseling. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Wives, huh? He gets it. So the new couple pairings are as follows. Cleveland and Lois. Oh, cool. My FICO score just went up 100 points. Quagmire and Bonnie. Joe and Donna. And Peter and Kimmy. Yay! I win couples counseling. What is it, Brian? Oh, my God! Hey, could you close the gate? Couple of calves got loose. <laughs> Pow! Brian, you're all sinewy. Your whole body looks like Paul McCartney's neck. Thanks. That's not a compliment. You look terrible. What does your girlfriend think of this? I dumped her. She couldn't keep up with me. Hey, grab me some more Band-Aids, will ya? I got like eight more nipples to cover up before my run. The only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. <laughs> Peter, enough. Come to bed. Uh-uh, Lois. The packet says I gotta play till I'm raw. Ooh, Mrs. Potato Head here. Any Irish actors around who might be interested in me? You're damn right, darling. Colin Farrell? Well, what are you doing here? Shoo! Shoo! Get away! Oh, you're a feisty potato. The back is all mashed potatoes now. What? What have you done? I think you mean, what have we done? What? Brian? We're pregnant! Oh my god! People are gonna think I had sex with a male baby and then got him pregnant! Oh, thank you for finding a way to make it sound horrible. Ooh. Is it dead? You hit me! What kind of monster hits a pregnant toddler? If you ever lay a finger on me again, I'll burn you in your bed. Could, could you do that now, please? I'm trying to keep the more attractive ones in this area. This is a nightmare. Oh, I caught two of them trying to eat each other, so that's something we need to watch out for. Hey, you know, we make a great team, guys, like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. Sorry, the bed's breaking up. Bonnie, I still don't get why you want to see this house. The foundation is totally out of whack. I mean, the, the whole house is slanting down to that cliff over there. Uh-huh. Can you open the sliding door? I'll take it. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Oh, I'm gonna miss my daddy. Oh my god, where are we? Omaha Beach, 1944. This is D-Day. What's that over there? Oh, that's double D-Day. <laughs> nine, nine, no fire, it's good. I'll hoot us. Be careful, it could be a booby trap. <laughs> Otto. Peter's always been special. In high school, he didn't play sports, but he did wear a helmet. <laughs> you know, Peter, I love your chin, but I gotta ask, what's it like going through life with a scrotum so close to your mouth? You know what? Hold on, I'll just ask your teenage daughter. <laughs> you know, Peter's challenging the stereotype of Irish guys being fat, drunk, and stupid by throwing a little gay in there, too. <laughs> oh, nice. Homophobia. Peter's got a small penis, but hey, nothing grows in the shade. This just in is what Peter had to say to his wife on their wedding night, so she knew it was actually happening. Peter, you're loud, you can't hold down a job, and you got high blood pressure. You could be a black guy if your dingaling wasn't so damn tiny. <laughs> How does everyone know? I asked Peter what he got on his SATs. He said mayonnaise. Peter moves his lips while he's reading, because he's trying to eat the book. Roasted!